Hi there, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create masks with rough edges in DaVinci Resolve. I recently added this rough edge option to the essential mask effect template. If you haven't seen the video before, you can click the link up here or the link in the description below. With the help of this option, we can easily add all kinds of jagged and roughened edges or borders around the mask selections. Once the template is downloaded and installed in DaVinci Resolve, it becomes available in the effects panel. We can apply the mask effect to clips on the timeline directly in the edit page. There are four different mask types we can choose in the inspector. The default rectangle mask. Ellipse, polygon and b-spline. When the fusion overlay is enabled, we can use the on-screen controls to adjust the mask size and position. For polygon and b-spline masks, we can draw the mask directly in the viewer. Because there is no mask defined yet, we see nothing in the viewer. If you want to see where you are drawing on the image, you can check the invert option to see the original image. Uncheck the invert option once you're done with the mask. When the solo mode is turned off, we can combine different mask shapes to create some very unique masks. We can use the paint mode option to control how the shapes work together to make the final mask result. By default, masks are defined with clean edges. But sometimes we may want to have jagged or rough edges for the selection. With this new rough edge option, we can now simply increase rough edge setting to roughen the edges of the mask. When the value is greater than zero, there are extra parameters available here. We can use them to change the edge look and feel. For example, increase the scale to something big, like 600 or uncheck the lock XY option, change the X and Y scale separately. As we change the angle, we can create some really cool and unique edges and borders. When the animation value is set to greater than zero, it will automatically create an animation effect on the edges. The greater the value, the faster the animation runs. Like any standard mask, we can also soften the edge. Or add borders. When the border is enabled, we can also blend in a glow effect. OK, this is how we use the mask template and the rough edge options in the edit page. Next I will show you the steps to create this effect from scratch in the Fusion page. Open the image in the Fusion page. With the media in selected, click the rectangle button in the toolbar. This automatically adds the rectangle node as the effect mask input of the media in node. We can change mask size and position in the viewer as needed. Press Shift Space to open the tool selection window. Find and add a displace node to the editor. Connect the rectangle to displace as the main input. and replace the media in mask input with the output of the displace node. Add a fast noise node to the editor. Connect to the displace node as the foreground input. Select displace node, change the displace type to XY. Modify the Y refraction with a simple expression. Link to the X refraction, so that when the X value is modified, the Y also changes. Change the X to something around 0.02, this is good for the demo. Select the Fast Noise node, go to the inspector. Now we can adjust these parameters to change the look and feel of the rough edges. For example, increase the detail. Contrast. Adjust the scale. But if we rotate the mask to a certain angle, like 45 degrees, the rough edges disappear on two sides.
To resolve this issue, make a copy of the Displace node. Connect Displace 1 as the main input of the new node. Replace the effect mask of media in node with new displace node. Connect the fast noise node to the new displace foreground input. Make sure the new displace node is selected. Change the expression of Y refraction, so it will be the negative value of X refraction. OK, now we always have rough edges regardless of the mask's rotation. You can replace the rectangle mask with any other mask shape, and the rough edge effect still remains. You might have noticed that the rough edge mask is a bit shifted to the left. We can select the fast noise node, and change the brightness to minus 1. Now it's centralized. All right. That's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.